When I saw Carl plus Pango, I'm like, hell yeah, this is my favorite combo <laughs> in Dota, pretty much. Yeah. Also, you need to go for different item build, right, on position 5 Shaman. You can't afford to put more points in Q. It's no, all and you, about the control. And, and here you we can't go. go shard either. That's the thing, is that you're probably just gonna die in lane 2 just to damage. Easy stuns. Got him. Ah, that's gonna be the first blood. I mean, this is what we talked about. Uh, one misstep from Shadow Shaman, and uh, he's gonna die. Every single time Coil is used, this needs to be a kill. That That's how I feel about it. And uh, most of those kills, at least like first one, two, three, need to be on Storm to be able to shut him down. Uh, good shackles. There's the Coil on Sanking. Won't be able to use the Burrow Strike, and Tiny gonna get uh, the last set with the toss. So good rotation. This is what we expect, just to be very active. But I, I don't see that happening. Like he's he's just been so stable for so long. He has so he has such a wide hero pool. He's just I mean these young guns they're crazy. As the runes coming out, Yopaj goes for bottom. We'll spawn top. But we have a battle. Three v three, three two v four actually. And, and Star like Storm. Storm, yeah, they're gonna get the toss off. Uh, we'll get the kill. Abba a bit uh, too far away. Alacrity has another coil. Uh, this one's gonna be a bit uh, difficult to get. Uh, they need to be able to just heavily commit under the tower. Hey, I have to start pressuring these side lanes. We can't just let Sanking farm free blink because we know TA is free farming jungle. So have to slow down at least a little bit of something. SBZ. Oh, he's gonna be the one initiating. There's gonna be the combo, even the epicenter. That's gonna be an easy double kill coming out from the boom. And they, they're not done. They're out of stuns. They, oh, there is oh, a vortex. Have it. That's pretty big. That's gonna be three kills, uh, two cores and the position five and also shutting down Tiny. You have no BKB. Game is about BKBs in these last few, in these last like six plus months, 12 months. Pretty much. Uh, one thing I would love to see more is Pangolier being more active, because we have not seen a single roll come out of him. Alacrity, he has a call, but another good initiation. Arrow misses. Ooh, zip. There's the roll. Connecting on multiple heroes. Blast. Ooh, this is going to be a big kill. And uh, Pango, nice. he's not done. Everyone's pretty low. They would need to keep chasing. Oh, FPZ's in. Oh, big Epi onto three, but not enough as... Wow, Enigma Galaxy, see, they fight back. And that was them setting up for the tower, but there's an Abaddon shield. So I feel like the Hex and Forget is usually just a lot more efficient in most situations, but we'll see if it works out for Boombi. I feel like it's gonna hurt, but we'll see. Uh, well, he might be an agent. His name starts with Boom, and he's playing against uh, <laughs> Team Boom, so, you know, I'm not so surprised. And uh, yeah, big zip, uh, Boombi dies. Uh, Yopaj, he's still Another not one. done. The silence, that there's too much damage coming out from him, and uh, I, I think they run straight into Roche Pit, right? FBC dropping relatively low from that uh, Keeper's Blast, so they didn't heavily commit. Boom didn't go immediately into Roche Pit. They were like thinking better they have enough time. They thought, you know, maybe there's gonna be like Puck Coil. We need to be careful about it. And also Keeper of the Lights Blast. So they're gonna He's go gonna for the jump. Sanking Bunch jump and another arrow. Shaman seems pretty dead. Toss out to the dust. Right, punch. They got him. This is, this, got is something, this is something that we mentioned. Uh, Abba, he can't just be close to Storm Spirit. Like He's their real reliant lockdown besides the Coil. But like, it's just it's just not reliable to have that. So yeah, I, I think it's probably gonna end up hurting them more than helping. It's boom, continue to have control in the area, looking for a pick. Oh, Burrow Strike misses. Mizu's still gonna get silenced. silenced. Double coil, buyback immediately from Mizu. Tiny, let's see the damage. Toss, breaks Broke the, the coil. Breaks the coil and they trapped him. They, they trapped Mizu. Oh no, Tiny can't move, Tiny's oh, no. stuck. Okay, he's <laughs> getting out though, but. He almost ends up living. I think the shield actually got on him. But I think the Pango is actually in the area where the toss actually was to finish him off. So again, they strike back, but still well, not he's seeing any net. He trapped himself. He he just jumped <laughs> into the wards. <laughs> what the hell is going on, man? Shaman, he's griefing them with these wards. And uh, yeah, now <laughs> I think they're griefing I, themselves. That's not his fault. They jumped. Who picks it up? Do they give it to Yopaj? I think they do because yeah. he's the one dying. You know, usually the the first one belongs uh, to Templar Assassin. And they just don't have the heroes to really deal with him at this point, especially. Especially now that he has BKB. Like we already mentioned how their damage instances can be a little bit lackluster to deal with this hero, but now it's also just getting to him through these these heroes that are just protecting him. And it's just also like Yopash is annoying. Like he just jumps on people, forces a reaction, and then TA does whatever the hell she wants. So having Sanking and Marana is always an easy way to play Dota, no matter like what you're playing into. 
you can always do stuff around the map. Boom, boom. Oh, your push. Oh, he got trapped, but uh, there's the big epi on in your dream and also shaman. They're just gonna bail shaman. They're like, well, we we're not done. They're, they're actually gonna chase for more. Tiny, he doesn't have a BKB, so he's gonna die as well. Yopa's getting a oh, double this kill. This, this is, is a disaster. Really out of hand. Yeah, and now they're gonna get another one. It looks like perhaps if they get this kill too, Jesus. Let's see the arrow. Arrow misses, uh, but the trap. Let's see if they're gonna oh. pop it. Ooh, not on time. Yeah, on this first item. I mean, there, <laughs> there is not even a full spirit vessel. He just went for an urn. So, how, like, how do you fight into that? Like, you can't jump Morana. You can't jump Storm. Uh, it, it's. I, I think it's non-existent. And uh, there's gonna be Epi on Tiny. He's gonna die again. Uh, not having a BKB. Yeah, I mean, just feels way too difficult when you're playing into these all these stuns and controls and just such a fast-paced lineup that is just there's no cooldowns really like like we've mentioned multiple times they can just go on any time Yopage, Yopage he jumped again. in shackle already used but another good burrow strike has a bkb as well uh rolling thunder doing absolutely nothing this is it's something that bad. we said you know that playing into temple assassin as a pango can be sometimes very difficult i think it also comes down to Two supports because shaman five he's not gonna rotate like this is sure. very sluggish hero you're not gonna have boots early on uh other lift support. Mizu. oh that's a pretty big that's nice play that's bullying so that's game <laughs> that's a game like actually you just glyph the wave take racks now you've got full momentum no pangold yeah, it's really smart when I, whenever you see like teams do that, right? They have the bottom lanes pushing, all lanes are shoving in, then you just like sit on high ground for a second when they're missing. My favorite is when it, it goes backwards. We've had a couple of those games where it's 100%, and then it go, it ticks back to 98%. You're like, wait a minute, that's not how that works. Well, Dota people <laughs> in general are bad at math. Let's see, Ooh. Mizu. Another smoke. The rolling just Thunder, waiting. Coil on two. two. Oh, but the BKB, Mizu, Eon Disc proc, Tiny use the BKB, they're just gonna blink out, they don't no necessarily push. need to take this fight. One shot's the Shaman, he's on the Coddle now too, Sanking stung onto the Coddle, in your dreams BKB is about to end on the Tiny. They're gonna look to engage onto him immediately, the Epicenter being revved, FBZ focusing down in your dream, an easy kill. Yopaj with the triple, looking for more, but GG's called, in your dream calls it. Wow, I mean that was a... Uh, Pretty one-sided affair it does feel like but i think the panel also sided affair of the first game we're having a bit of a repeat with the storm about an opener we did see some adjustments adjustments made from nigma galaxy c they did get what like four or five last hits i think on muzu there but yeah you still see 23 10 on monkey king and now Jokam stepped up a bit far he might just die here jackie He's got the extra to connect. Yep. Oh, Skem gets Oh, Skem shield explodes. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, how did he get it? They're even gonna keep the Coddle and the Bane over here to ensure that Alacrity is able to get this farm. And look at and positioning let's from Alacrity, drawing them closer to the south so that he sees any kind of rotation yopage uh, these heroes are very difficult to kill right now their damage output is uh, a bit limited yopage like they're going for the Try. steals like they stole three four so far and big zip catching the bane once again can he get any spells off he got the nightmare but that's gonna get removed and the sword spirits he's still not done even jackie yeah even jackie <laughs> shows up they, they brought five heroes i said they don't have anything to steal the stacks with but if you bring five heroes eventually you're gonna get couple and they're trying to get more out of it too if they could get a kill onto alacrity it would be huge because they could potentially set up for a tower push and he looks to be pretty dead the position he's in they should be able to chase him out illusion rune not oh, nice pad. That's what you call a nice ice pad. Uh, nice pad. Some spirit was uh, holding onto his uh, pull. And most other carry heroes, I feel like, would have had to just ditch the lane. They wouldn't have been able to defend that push. He's able to just hold his ground and stop that push almost by himself. With just like one other hero rotating in. Jokam. Baj going in. FBZ ready to use ulti if needed still half hp keeper of the light will drop uh, i like how boom is just playing aggressive like going into the back lines and not heavily committing that there was still no split being used abba will pop an ulti let's see how they approach this one blue master thinking about the split guys path they're still gonna get the kill in your dream still chasing and here's the split used on life stealer uh they're chasing, they're chasing Bane, but seems like that's gonna be it for now. Okay, I mean, that's pretty big for Enigma Galaxy C. Uh, Arcane Rune on Alacrity, Mizu as well with DK form, hitting tower here. 
Tim's. And Tim's with his ice bath. See, he's really on point. Jackie Boy's coming in. They have to use Infest on Dragonite just to keep him alive, but it's not going to be enough. Are they done? Cooldown. Oh, that's level two rage, but they they did not want to commit. Sure. They hurt them in the mid game a little bit when he doesn't have that Aghanims earlier, but I feel like they have backup of team fight that comes from the Jakira and the Monkey King that allows him to go for this different route. Battle Fury is done. Scam. Scam. He does have ulti. They will proc it. Storm Spirit zipping in on the Life Stealer. It's done. They, ooh, can they actually do? They can. FBC wow. and the, once again, Tim's like they didn't overlap any of their abilities and they managed to bring him down, trading position five for position one. Uh, you know, Heaven's Halberd seems like a natural choice. And yeah, as you said, what happened uh, on the replay, Yopaj, uh, big zip, overextended. They wanted to follow it up. Uh, Yopaj going in once again. This is going to be an easy pickoff. Uh, seems like Bane has been, you know, the sacrificial. But we still have not seen the Fiend's grip, I believe. No, I don't think we will either. <laughs> it's for a reason. Attack. It's gonna get cancelled instantly anyway, so... What if you get stats? Like, you get stats instead of the Fiend's Grip, the value. The value. <laughs> Sounds... Mid lane, dropping push? low. Can he zip out of it? No, he can't. The overtime damage from the Spirit Vessel and the Dragonite gonna drop him low. One more. Lighting light. Yeah, Very keeping nice them push. alive. I do want to say though, he did fall a little bit behind, like going for the vessel and dying. Level one split, I think he was waiting to not use it because I think it actually just dies to TA. So I think now that he has level two split, he can actually use it a little more reliant to just not dying to the two mountains. Oh, jump, they found Monkey King. There's the grip. Uh, who's going to be the first one TPing? It's going to be the Brewmaster. It's a five got second him. TP, but they got him. They can turn this into Roche. They, they're right going to immediately go. Having this Dragonite, Lifestyle, Templar Assassin, these shows are extremely. Difficult to kill, and uh, them having like rage and BKB on Templar Assassin. There's no damage coming through the Look BKB besides Monkey. They're setting up. They're not done. Boss. Stun. This is gonna be an easy pick off if they can chain stun him, but they cannot. He gets the ulti off, and the Storm Spirit zipping in. Mizu will drop. They try to save him with the nightmare, but that's not gonna be enough. Life stealer. Uh, where is he? He's showing up. Where is there gonna be any kind of Zachary's save? Temper Assassin's gonna die. There is a BKB, so he still has it. Bruce split to try to control them. I think Boom needs to back off a little bit. Uh, Tim's is uh, gonna drop. Life stealer, some right clicks, putting in a lot of damage, and yo come. Uh, he's still hiding. Jackie Monkey in. shows up finally, but they pushed him out with Ooh. the blinding light. Beautiful. And the disarm on top of that. Uh, we talked about that, like, this is the only thing that they got against Wukongs, and they managed to pull it off. He has Crystallis for now and the full Silver Edge. Maybe he's thinking about uh, killing Abba before he can get anything off once he has the shard. So that's going to be a silence plus a break mechanic, and he can also break Monkey. And Brew. He has three different targets that he can actually break pretty nicely. As focusing the Brew, Brew has Ags. Gets Mizu. the split off. He's focused. He's Spirit Vessel, so he's dropping fast. And he will die. Templar Assassin will BKB TP out, but the good Bruce split. They're gonna get uh, two kills out of this. Uh, this four staff on Dragonite, it's good. It Absolutely. got him out of the trouble, but uh, you know, it's not a BKB. He does have a rage and a TP, so he's like, well, what can you do? What are you gonna do about it? Eventually, so someone is gonna get a basher, and it's gonna be probably Monkey King, because they are gonna get tired I'm of them beast. TPing out. He just used the Rage in Fast, trying to buy a bit more time until Rage nice stun. Off. cooldown comes off. Nice stun, as you said, from the Centaur. Rage back up in five seconds. Can they burst them? Status resistance, the missed Dying. chance. Rage is back online, and he's gonna live. Armor toggle. He's doing it. He, my man's doing it. He's at oh, 500 HP. Oh, no! The, the overtime damage actually killed him. Monkey King, he locked onto the Yokam. Let's see what he can do. Boom, boom, boy. Ooh. And Yokam. They need to get... This is getting awkward. Now Mizu getting back in. Jackie's revving up the ult. Alacrity standing in it, they're trying to... Blinding Light pushes him out one more time. Light. Ooh, and FBZ is gonna get bursted by this Keeper of the Light. Can he get anything off? Skim does use a heal on him. But now Storm Spirit coming in, and okay, he's coming no. in hot. That's gonna be an easy cleanup, but they're not done. Alacrity does not have a Blink Dagger. Yopaj, Stoy, no! <laughs> 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 he was stowing with him and then he gets splashed. I, I think that's it. They they need to stop chasing now. <laughs> you don't have to carry care about uh, him getting the spells off and uh, this hero can't be focused usually. Yeah. 
And something we actually did not touch on, this was quite a long time ago, after even the last fight, and as soon as I'm talking about it, there's a fight that kicks off, Yopaj gets onto Bloom Bowie. looks like it's just a pickoff. But they're actually committing in your dream. They're onto the Monkey King, dropping the half HP. Wukong comes out, two of them caught in the center. Alacrity and in your dream, and Fest onto Alacrity. Resetting, getting some good melt hits. Jackie Boy dropping low. Yopaj pull onto the TA. Inside the Macro Pyre, Alacrity, half HP will be able to get away. In your dream, sticking onto Jakiro and the Abaddon. Half HP onto him now as well. They get the Fiend's Grip onto the Fiend's Boom Grip Master, on him, yeah. got the Jakiro. And Boom Master just reset. Looks like they're gonna get the split off because of that Sange, I believe. He will be able to reset and get away, but... I still want to see a Basher. I think his next item should definitely be it. Uh, just to be able to lock them down during the BKB. Because what they've been doing is they are... We're getting a lot from the map just by having the BKBs and also Lifestealer toying with them. And they need to have something for it. He's so strong right now, though, with this Butterfly. We'll cause... He got the Disarm on TA. And jump onto attack. three! Yopash, he gets both supports and the DK in the back, almost just instantly killed. All yeah, three of them just dead instantly from an axe pull. That was picture perfect from Yopaj. Slowly getting the lead in this one. Storm's Rift will be picking up the Aegis. Uh, Jackie Boys uh, seems to be the sacrificial one, I would say. He, he says no. He says, I don't care about the TPs out. We're winning the game, even if they're TPing in front of us. Hmm. Who can buy it? Like, uh, Jakira can buy it if it was, uh, you know, a bit of a different hero. Maybe they could. Mizu getting chased. Jackie boys, he doesn't care. And another zip the gets two. two. There's no BKB on this TA. Because he just did use it, so he's going to drop a lot. And he's, he's got 100 seconds. He invested uh -oh. the gold. Oh, no. This this is game-winning move coming up from Boom. Uh, picking off that uh, Templar Assassin. She's like, well, it's a six second BKB. I'm gonna TP out. Uh, Lifestealer has rage. They don't have any bashers. Yeah, but you don't have any buildings. But that's, and then that's what comes into why we're seeing, you know, why get basher if they just TP out and then not have BKBs. As Yopash again, pull on to two, Ice Path to follow. They kill Mizu. Uh, this, did he ever get BKB on this DK? We're seeing the cleanup onto Jokan, but yeah, it looks like this four staff might have actually been really painful for the DK now a couple times where he just gets brought down from the storm in your dream now the next to go trying to hold his ground versus this monkey king but he is surrounded disarm TP out I think it's time to call it they are pinging the tier 4 towers and uh, yeah boom great understanding if they use their BKBs to try did the one hell of a